Hey, welcome back everybody to the next episode here in Dark Souls Remastered playthrough. Um, I just ended up going to a vendor. I picked up a crap ton of, uh, of arrows because I'm just in my uh, my secondary. I just have the Black Bow of Ferris that I'll be using. And uh, now we're actually going to head down. We're going to head down to the catacombs. Um, it's an area that it's not too bad, uh, but it's got these pesky skeletons, as you see. <laughs> so, I don't know. Usually they come back to life if you don't kill them with uh, a divine weapon. But I'm not sure if we just did do, like enough damage just to straight up kill them. Hmm. Let's go see. Uh, I'm assuming then that they're not going to respawn, but... And then also over here, uh, I don't, I don't know, I don't typically, <laughs> I always make a beeline for that kind of thing, but you found the binoculars, so that way you can look at things in, at far distances, or, I don't know, kind of mess around. <laughs> Alright, let's head down to the catacombs. Um... It's not going to be that dark down here, so you don't have to worry about wearing the sunlight maggot, like that hat, just yet. Um, but it's definitely going to be something that we will, uh, eventually. But, ooh. Beware of those exploding heads, in addition to the skeletons, if you don't have a divine weapon, like I do. I, I don't have one. Um, so we need to find... A, uh, a necromancer. So as long as there's a necromancer in an area, skeletons will always respawn. And here's the first one. And they sometimes have a chance of dropping like that skull that you see he was using. Um, they sometimes have a chance of dropping that and uh, you would use it in one of your like in your left or your right hand and uh, if you use it in your left hand and you hold the left bumper or L1 just like you would use a shield, it uh, It'll illuminate the area, so it's another alternative in case you don't have the uh, the sunlight maggot. So we're not actually going to we're not going to rest right there because I don't want I don't want anybody else to come back. Okay, there's that. But another reason why I wanted to have the bow is that there should be. I say there should be a necromancer right here that we're gonna try to kill. There we go. So that way all the skeletons now in this area can die. Like they won't be resurrected. No. Oh. oh, I thought he was gonna do like that tornado attack. There is actually, there's a covenant down here. Um, the Grave Lord Covenant. Ooh, I timed that right. I didn't think I would. That, that move, the tornado. Woo! <laughs> and then they turn into like, <laughs> bits and pieces. It's like a halberd kind of hammer mix. I think there should be another power or necromancer around here, if I'm not mistaken. No, don't do that. I think that was everybody. I think we're good now. Alright, and as you can see, that bridge just turned. 
by that guy over there. So we need to go that way and redirect a bridge. So we're going to get introduced to a new NPC who actually was in Demon Souls. His name is Patches. Oh, we got a humanity out of that, too. Cool. All right, we should move. Oh. Not only... Oh, jeez. I was like, not only do the skulls blow up, but these statues are going to be shooting out spikes as you walk by, if you get too close, like that. There. And then we just straighten it out. Shoot him. I think he's a pain in the butt, but hopefully he doesn't fuck with us and turn this thing again. I'd be so upset. Ah, darn it. I forgot that was there. I'm scared because I forgot about this. See ya. <laughs> You're gonna go off the edge. Ah, idiot. Alright, he didn't move in on us. I thought for sure he would. Uh, it really is like catacombs around here, because that, that part of the floor will fall and burst. I think, actually, no, this one will. Yep, that one does, and then it'll bring you down to another area. There's a lot in here before we get to the next boss, um, so just bear with me. We'll find it all. It's just going to take me probably just a little bit. Right. Um, you're probably going to stab me. Yep. Oh, oh! I just heard somebody a skeleton. Oh. There's another necromancer around here because I didn't get souls off of that. Oh shit. Where are you? Ah! Stop. Oh no, I'm gonna bleed. find that necromancer. Crap. That's not so I found you, you piece of crap. Alright, now that I killed the necromancer, all these skeletons should not respawn, so... safe trip. Okay. Hang on. Though. There was something up here. It was a... Uh, it looked like a, a door. Yep. There you go. This little thing opened up for us. And uh, there's two ways you can go. You can either drop down there or head this way. Uh, I think going this way actually will bring you out Yep, to where Patches is. He's actually up there. So we're not going to... And he just change the path for us. I would not trust him. Like, don't don't run across that, because I think he'll change it back on us again. But let's go this way, because I think there's a weapon here. If I remember. I think it's a, a scythe, I want to say? It is. It's a great scythe. Okay. And I think the same thing as before. That ground will fall out. Where does this go? kind of don't want to go there, because I don't just yet. Okay. Um, 
tell you what, though. There was some other, like, the first ground that I saw that, uh... What's up under here? Like, the floor broke out from underneath us. I think it was up here. And then to the... Technically to the right. Now we're left over here. Let's fall down here. Oh, Crystal lizards. Would you look at that? All right. Um... I didn't get one, but all right, at least I got the other. Let's climb on up. All right, so now you know, though, at least, like, if you read it, you could either reset, like, uh, log out, log back in, and then that crystal lizard should be there again. So in case you want to just do that to get, get more crafting materials or, like, upgrades, it's definitely not a bad idea. I have been here before. Okay. Wait a minute. This looks familiar. Alright. You say I think the other pathway is directly below me. It is, it's that way, but I don't want to risk that because I think he's gonna turn it again and get us killed. Uh I think the other one is this one. Like the other piece of the floor I could fall through? I think it's right here. Yeah. Oh, I know where this is. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's go this way then. So, over here is actually where you can get into the uh, Grave Lord Servant Covenant. I think that's what this one is. Um, there's going to be a Titanite Demon at the end of the hall, and there's actually going to be a, a sarcophagus that we can jump into, which will transport us um, to Grave Lord Nido. We're not going to be able to attack him. He's actually a Covenant leader. And let's see if we can take out this bad boy. 360. Dang, that's a heck of a lot of work. Why are you backing up? There we go. Alright, death. And Demon Titanite. Alright, so the sarcophagus, I think this is it, you'll hop in it, or it says like nestle in the coffin, you're basically just going to sit here for a little bit, and uh, same thing with like how we transported ourselves back to the uh, northern undead asylum, we just need to sit here until it triggers a cutscene for us, so be patient bros, and sisters, I don't know, friends, it's good enough. made it inside the Tomb of the Giants. So from here, in case you want to be in this covenant, um, I know a lot of people will do this like early on, just so that way they could be uh, they could be part of the Grave Lord servants. Um, because if you give, I think you only have to trade in one Eye of Death. Oh, or not? I guess you just need to uh, just join the covenant and you get the Grave Lord sword. Oh, okay. Uh, it, it's a, I think it's technically a boss weapon. Uh, it's technically a boss weapon, though. I think it does also toxic or poison? Okay, E and E, yeah. So I think that's poison, 333. So it has a very high poison buildup. Uh, but it's 10 units. It's, uh, I don't know. 
It, it doesn't exactly have the best moveset, but it's a pretty strong weapon for early on, just in case um, you want to come get this and just start out as your playthrough. Because base damage, I think, yeah, it's 265 base damage, so that's quite a lot. Um, but our upgraded Claymore, clearly it's still better. So, all right, let's hop back in. And there's nothing else that we can really do. I don't exactly want to... Uh, <laughs> want to give eyes of death or anything like that but a little bit of a little bit of a detour there why is my guy like flicking to the side? I mean, holding forward. What the f All right. Whoa! My guy's like freaking out. Okay. Uh, there's more of these heads. Let's move away. I didn't get any souls. That means there's a necromancer around here. Okay. This was a shortcut. I didn't realize that. This is actually on the other end, other side of where Patches was. <laughs> so we completely bypassed his little trick. But we still need to kill that Necromancer, obviously, because these guys keep coming back to life. Um, this note here, it says that there's treasure. Uh, this is not good. Where's the necromancer? Come on, what's that? Oh, crap. Oh, alright. Dark Moon Seance Ring. So that ring is very important when we get back to uh, Anor Orlando. That ring will actually allow you to join the Blades of the Dark Moon, and it'll actually. Um, Take away one of the illusions. Which side I should climb up on, I guess this one. It'll allow you to take away the illusion so you can join the covenant and uh, potentially invade the guilty or invade people that uh, are trespassing in Anor Londo. is not fun. <laughs> I'm like Boromir from Lord of the Rings. How many arrows can I have in me before I die? Oh crap, how the hell do I get out of here then? I don't remember. Oh, unless can I jump from here? Yeah, okay, I can make that. Unless I can fall behind the, uh, unless I can fall behind the, uh, the tomb, like that sarcophagus that I looted from. I do need to go down there. I mean, eventually I need to go down there, but. I guess I do need to go behind that sarcophagus and fall down. Oh, there's a broken wall right there too. Hang on. No, I don't go behind. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Followed by my posse. Oh, there you are. 
Found you. Yes. This was the ledge right above where I was. Okay, I got you. Alright, let's climb on up. I'm getting hungry. Man, I'm going to have a sausage sandwich today. Oh, I can't wait. Mm. Ooh, what's this? Hmm, <laughs> twop. Alright, tranquil walk of peace. This is that dang spell that those uh, stone giants were using on you. It'll make you uh, essentially like slow walk. Uh, if you're within the vicinity of the caster, it's really annoying. So it it prevents you from rolling. It prevents you basically from having any kind of uh, defensive movement. So, ugh, gosh, I I, I think I've had that used on me one time. But the person that kept using it, I guess, didn't realize that, like, I knew what they were doing, so I just kept running away until they had no more casts. <laughs> it's like, I'm not going to stand there and just let you use that on me. But... Alright, let's go up, though, and talk to Patches. Good day. You look reasonably sane. What are you doing in the catacombs? Are you a cleric or something? Say no. Say no. I know what it is. You've come for the trinkets, haven't you? Well, whatever it is, this place is treacherous. You watch your step. <laughs> <laughs> uh, patches he hates. Um, he hates clerics, so that's why I said like, don't, don't say yes, don't say you're a cleric. But I'm gonna knee this guy off just to make sure he doesn't change anything. Remember, kneeing or kicking, if you have a weapon in your right hand, um, it's forward and dick. Oh, you climb back up? Hmm. Alright, well, I guess there goes that on you. Alright, um, I guess we're gonna take our chances. i be so mad if he freaking kills me. Son of a... Yep. Hmm. Son of a bitch. Ah! Oh! Well, how are you then? I slipped and put that leave in, you see. It didn't cause you any trouble, by chance. It did. Are you certain? Well, that's a fine shame. I'm truly sorry. Really? Wait now. You, you didn't actually fall down then. Well, why didn't you tell me sooner? All's well that ends well. Everybody makes mistakes. I'm not above it all, I swear. I'm Trusty Patches, the one and only. I know. This should make up for it. The humanity. We're on the same side. Undead outcast. Fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> as much as I'm sure you want to kill this guy, don't do it. He will come in handy as a vendor a little bit after this, so, but just go ahead, turn it back, and then I think we should be good to go across now that we confronted him. Yeah, he hasn't moved. Okay, we're good. Alright, so that's the first part of interacting with Patches. I really don't like that guy. <laughs> I really, really don't like that guy. There's got to be, hang on, there has to be, I believe there's a blacksmith down here. I don't think that it's in the tomb of the giants. I think it's actually in the catacombs. Um, there's a blacksmith down here that can, you can give him the, uh, the chaos ember in addition to the, the flame ember. I think it's this way. I think it's down here. 
It is. It's down here. Okay. Last time, I think I just went that way. Uh, okay. Tell you what, let's wear the sunlight maggot on our head so we can see. And it looks like there's an item right there. Cool. So there's a ledge right below this little, I don't know, uh, a little, I don't know, bump, whatever the hell you want to call that, rock. So it's a good way just to do that. Oh, oh man, I thought I was going to die. Um, we don't want to. I need just to fall off to the side. So just go ahead, I guess, to the sli side a little bit. There we go. I made it. And this is actually where that blacksmith is. Be gone with you. You spoil my focus. Finally enough, makes us a shortcut, as well as there's a bonfire down here, so. Um, actually, I don't think I'm going to go for the boss in this episode, friends. I think I might just go ahead. We're going to talk to Vamos, I believe that's his name, the blacksmith. And uh, we'll give him the two embers, and uh, I think that's what we're going to call the day. Why? Is that an ember from New Londo? And a fine ember it be. What do you say? Why not leave? I'll give you a flame to feast your eyes upon. Yes, yes, very well. We'll get these old bones to work. <laughs> well, what was that about? Don't be coming around here without a good reason. All right, let me talk to you again and give you the chaos. Hmm. There you go. Why, that's... Curious pattern. Could it be the flame of the legendary witch? I know. Suppose you left that ember with me. Old Vamos would never let you down. No, not ever. <laughs> yes, splendid. Splendid indeed. My, oh my. You precious little thing. So now you have the flame option, um, like the plus five fire, plus ten to fire, and then you also have the chaos, uh, chaos upgrade line. Not quite sure. Uh, I guess I could upgrade my seventy-four to seventy-six. Okay, I'll leave it at seventy. That'll be all. Okay. Be gone with you. You'll spoil my focus. All right, friends, so I think that is where we are going to end this episode now. Thankfully, we do have that shortcut, and uh, this will actually lead us down to where the boss is. So I'm very, very excited to keep moving on. So, friends, I will see you all in the next episode. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Give me a hug.